everyone, I'm Bernard Kerr. We're here with the new Phoenix 29 downhill bike, and this is my mechanic, Barney. Hello. So Bernard, what were your goals for development for this new Phoenix 29? We basically wanted to make it like the 27 bike as close as possible, apart from having the big wheels. Short chain stage, really flickable and playful, and we lowered the center of gravity on this bike. Hi, I'm Kurt, I'm Idis McKinnock, and uh, we're both based in Queenstown, New Zealand, which gave us a good opportunity to do some testing with the Phoenix 29. Like Kurt said, him and Eddie are in New Zealand for the off season, it's amazing riding there, and they did a lot of testing with the linkages on this new bike. Yes, we tested the flip chip and a bunch of other things. Among that is the coil shot. It was pretty over-optimized in this bike, and we did a lot of testing with that to start with, but we ended on the air. So this bike is actually sold with the air shock, as that's what we all run in the team, because we really like the feel of it and how it's super responsive. If you're pumping out of a turn, over rolls, over jumps, we really felt like the air shock was a better overall feel and was a lot more responsive in those situations. I'm Tom, I'm the truck driver and a master mechanic. Bernard, what are the ride benefits of the new bike? Well, as you'd have guessed, the main ride benefit, one of them, is the 29 wheels. They roll over the bumps a lot better, and they smooth out the track, and they've got really good track condition of braking for the turns. Also, like we said before, the short chain stage of this bike make it very easy to pick up the front end, so you can manual real easy over bumps, which I like to do, and jump as well. You'll see Eddie and Matt pulling up all over the show on this thing, so that's a real good feature. Also on this bike, it's a lot more compact, as you can see here, which gives us a much higher standover height compared to the old bike. Another benefit of the new bike is the Enduro Saint Crank. It's got a narrower Q factor, so when you're leaning in or pedaling in a turn, you're not gonna hit the cranks, it's gonna make your mechanics life a lot easier, so you're not hitting the cranks on the floor, and really just a nicer feel. The next thing is the Super Boost rear end. On the 29er, the wheels can get a bit flexier as it's a bigger wheel than 27, but not when you've gone a Super Boost. It's the wider spacing, and it just feels a lot, lot better. So the cable port system makes it really easy to internally route the cables, as well as the integrated fork bumpers make it nice and quiet. As you can see on the new bike, we have a smaller stiffer linkage, which reduces side load on the shock, which means longer service intervals. Also, the bike has built-in frame protection. Also, Kurt, what was that you were saying about Eddie? Uh, depending on trip, Eddie is running an 8mm reach adjust um, headset just to give him a bit more space up front. And are you running an angle headset? Yeah, I'm running an angle set as well. I've got 0.75 degrees in there, and this bike is so versatile it lets us do that. Matt is on a completely stock bike, but all of us, we go backwards and forwards, and it's such a versatile bike with that. You can really change what you want, and uh, we're really enjoying the new bike. It looks awesome. The low standover, the compactness of it, it's just such a fun bike to ride. For a 29er, how short Pivot have managed to get the change stays with that narrow Q factor, it really is such a fun bike, and all the mechanics are like working it, like they said, with the cable port system, and everything just makes it such a good, versatile World Cup bike, and we hope you guys enjoy the tech video. We're at a World Cup filming this right now, and um, hopefully it goes well for us. So thanks for tuning in, and this is the new Pivot Cycles Phoenix 29er.